Today, we are embarking on a fascinating journey into the world of mysterious and incredible creatures that you have never encountered before. In this video, we will explore the extraordinary life forms and learn about them from both the outside and inside perspectives. Get ready for astonishing discoveries and unexpected surprises as we set out to find the most enigmatic creatures on the planet. This is the Top Facts channel. Enjoy watching and let's get started. In the province of Krabi in Thailand, a fisherman came across a remarkable discovery that left him in shock. While fishing in his river, he caught a mysterious creature that amazed him with its appearance. Numerous long black legs that gracefully moved like a spider's. This creature was unlike anything he had seen before. Carefully poking the creature with a stick, the fisherman realized with horror that this unusual creature carried a puzzle he couldn't solve. Initially, he even considered burning it, but then decided to capture the moment on video and release it back into the water. It is likely a sea star belonging to the species Colobometra perspinosa. They can grow up to 12 inches in diameter and have up to 10 arms. You have probably already heard about the mysterious creature with a human-like face that was filmed underwater. Some considered it a mythical creature, but in reality, it is a fish called the monkfish. What is so amazing about this creature? Firstly, its eyes are extraordinary. They are so big and unusual that it feels like they are watching us. And what about its mouth? It also draws attention with its numerous teeth resembling human teeth. Despite its unusual appearance, the monkfish is a common fish that inhabits the Atlantic coast from New York to Brazil. It can grow up to 36 inches in length and feeds on various mollusks, oysters, crustaceans, and plants. How can we imagine it hunting for its prey? What is its behavior in the wild? All these questions remain a mystery, but rest assured, the monkfish is not dangerous to humans. Experts advise not to fear this fish and even swim calmly alongside it. Recently, a woman discovered a fascinating fluffy creature on her windowsill at home. She immediately posted it online and asked everyone, who can tell me what this cute fluff ball is? At first glance, this creature seems like an insect, but identifying its species is quite challenging. Have you ever encountered something similar? It gives the impression of a fuzzy insect, or perhaps even has some relation to pigeons since it has feathery tufts. If you have any thoughts or ideas, let us know in the comments. In northern Mexico, a strange creature was discovered, immediately capturing the interest of scientists and becoming the subject of their study. This reptile, resembling a worm and a lizard at the same time, has a pink body and a segmented skin, while its front limbs resemble lizard paws. It turned out to be a representative of the Mexican mole lizard, which predominantly lives underground, making it difficult to encounter on the surface. The Mexican mole lizard clears tunnels with its front limbs and ramming movements of its head. Interestingly, snakes that move through the tunnels excavated by the lizard are its natural enemies. Despite the fact that locals call this reptile a lot and believe that it can burrow inside a person, there are no documented cases of such infiltration. The Mexican mole lizard spends most of its life underground where it feeds on insects and termites. Up next is the barren caterpillar. It is a representative of the barren family, which inhabits the tropical forests of South America and Asia. At first glance, the barren caterpillar appears to be an ordinary caterpillar with a black body and yellow spots. However, its main weapon is its ingenious camouflage. The Baron is a true master of disguise. It has special feathers on its body that allow it to blend seamlessly into its surroundings. How long do you think it takes for the caterpillar to create such camouflage? The answer is just a few minutes. During that time, it changes the color of its feathers to match the environment. Additionally, it has a complex pattern on its body that further helps it hide from enemies. But that's not all. The barren caterpillar has another defensive strategy. It can eject its metallic hairs, which can cause irritation to predators. Thus, the barren caterpillar not only camouflages itself, but also actively defends against dangers. 
Have you ever wondered what lies at the bottom of the ocean? It's an extraordinary and colorful life, where each creature is unique and mesmerizing in its diversity. One of these amazing creatures is the sea lily. This unique animal, closely related to sea stars and sea urchins, has been inhabiting our oceans for 450 million years. There are over 750 species of sea lilies, and they can be found at depths of up to six miles in the deepest parts of the ocean. Some of them live like lazy bushes, rooted in the ground and moving only to find new areas to inhabit. Others prefer to travel, traversing the vast expanses of the ocean, while some roam the ocean floor like a herd of cows. These animals filter the water, extracting and consuming plankton, and move in a simple and unassuming manner. To reproduce, the sea lily releases eggs or sperm, and the development of free-swimming larvae begins. It may seem simple and effortless, but the skeleton is external, and the sea lily is no exception. Among them, there are poisonous specimens, and some have complex and unique survival mechanisms. The sea lily is not only a beautiful and astonishing animal, but also an object of study. So, the next time you find yourself at the bottom of the ocean and see this unusual bush-like creature, remember that it is a living being with a complex digestive system and amazing survival mechanisms. Have you ever heard of sea cucumbers? These mysterious creatures are rarely seen by people. But recently, a woman from California managed to capture incredible footage of one of them on Crescent City Beach. These creatures, at first glance, resemble small hedgehogs with hundreds of legs that they use to move along the seafloor. But besides their unusual appearance, sea cucumbers are also true artists. They have leaf-shaped patterns drawn on their backs that look as if someone actually painted them. Despite being quite rare, sea cucumbers are of great interest to scientists. So if you ever find a sea cucumber on the beach, don't miss the opportunity to get to know them better. Who knows, maybe you can unravel the secrets of their lives and become one of the first scientists to uncover all the mysteries. Now let me tell you about an incredible sensation. The stonefish, also known as the warty sea cucumber or alien of the Ariaki Sea. These fish have a greenish-black body with small and sharp teeth protruding outward. Their almost imperceptible eye spots and shiny mucus make their appearance quite intimidating. However, the Japanese highly value the stonefish for its distinctive smell and excellent taste. To add a special aroma and flavor to their dishes, restaurants in Japan add live stonefish, which open their mouths dramatically on the plate. These fish can be found in dried form as a snack, in soups, or in other dishes. Even when ground, the stonefish retains its unique aroma. Although they are called warty sea cucumbers, they are not related to true sea cucumbers. They resemble the parasitic larva from the horror movie Alien in appearance. Despite their gruesome appearance, these fish are considered a delicious delicacy. They have become a sensation in Japan and attract more and more tourists from around the world who want to try this unique fish. So if you ever find yourself in Japan, don't miss the opportunity to taste this amazing delicacy. Not far from Thailand, there is an incredibly delicate and enigmatic species of fish called leptocephalids. These transparent glass-like droplets, measuring no more than 12 inches, glide through the depths of the sea, capturing shrimps, plankton, and marine snow. Their tissues quickly disintegrate upon touch, making the study of their lives extremely challenging. However, despite this, scientists have managed to find out that leptocephalids do not resemble any existing species. They lack scales and red blood cells, and instead of a normal intestine, they have a primitive tube. Due to their fragility and invisibility to predators, leptocephalids have virtually no natural enemies. But that doesn't stop them from occasionally transforming into giant transparent organisms almost two meters long. Next, let me tell you about a little creature, also known as a marmoset. These are small monkeys that inhabit the tropical forests of South America. Do you know how big they are? That's right, they are just a little larger than a mouse. Despite their small size, marmosets are very interesting and fascinating. They are highly social animals and live in large groups called troops, 
Can you guess how many marmosets are usually in a troop? The answer is up to 15 individuals. They can jump up to six, five feet and climb trees like true monkeys. An interesting fact, marmosets have very sharp vision and can distinguish colors that humans cannot see. But the most amazing thing about marmosets is their vocal abilities. They can produce sounds that resemble bird songs. Additionally, each troop has its own unique singing dialect. In Brazil, a young researcher encountered a remarkable natural phenomenon near his residence. A creature resembling a two-headed snake wriggling on the ground. Have you ever seen anything like it? If you came across such a creature, what would you think? Upon closer inspection, it becomes clear that it is not a snake, but an amazing caterpillar known as the wandering silk moth caterpillar. These fascinating insects exhibit unique behavior. They gather in groups, and by joining together, form a structure that appears as a single organism capable of coordinated movement. Why do you think this behavior benefits the caterpillars? It makes them more conspicuous and intimidating to potential predators, providing them with additional protection. While searching for food together, the insects discuss their actions, making decisions about movement and direction. As the caterpillar travels, it leaves behind a fine thread that allows it to find its way back to its fellow caterpillars. Do you know any other insects that use threads for movement or orientation? I highly doubt it. Next, an unusual discovery in the Tver region. A young man named Daniel spotted a long and very thin creature on the edge of a water body. Its peculiar shape and movements can evoke fear and bewilderment. But what is this creature really? Allow me to introduce you to the hairy velvet worm, an amazing creature from the phylum Onychophora. But why are they so long and thin? The velvet worm utilizes its shape to move through narrow crevices in the soil where it resides. It feeds on plant debris and microorganisms present in the soil. Despite its appearance, the velvet worm plays an important role in the ecosystem. It participates in the process of organic waste decomposition, helping to maintain the soil in good condition. Additionally, its body contains essential nutrients that can be beneficial to other organisms. Although the velvet worm poses no threat to humans, it can appear quite intimidating at first glance. So if you ever encounter one in your nature walks, don't be afraid. It's just an amazing creature that plays a vital role in the ecosystem of our planet. This creature was crossing an asphalt road and someone decided to stop and capture it on their smartphone camera. Its fluffy fur concealed its head, making it difficult to accurately identify what it was. However, I have a couple of assumptions. Some believe it was a blind worm while others mention a mole, and a few even speculate that it was a mutant from Pripyat. Moreover, from the video, we can see that it had almost no eyes or ears and its nose resembled that of a cat, which further adds to the mysteriousness of this creature. Recently, the internet has been discussing a strange creature that has attracted widespread attention. No one could understand what this creature was until the video creator shared their story. They were walking in the Catherine Forest area in Australia when they encountered a small agitated creature with unusual facial features. It turned out to be a Gould's wattled bat, a species of bird found in northern Australia. They possess an interesting appearance, with tiny bodies and peculiar beaks adorned with colorful bumps. This creature was captured by a resident of a village in Indonesia. It is a winged creature of enormous size resembling a bat. So what is this mysterious creature? Allow me to introduce you to the hammer-headed flying fox. This species of flying fox, found in the tropical forests of Asia and Oceania, is remarkable for its size. They can reach lengths of 8 to 12 inches, with a wingspan ranging from 27 inches to 39. Hammer-headed flying foxes are true frugivores. They do not prey on other animals and solely feed on fruits. Their diet primarily consists of figs, mangoes, guavas, and bananas. Despite their intimidating appearance, 
Hammer-headed flying foxes are peaceful animals and do not pose a threat to humans. However, they are a vulnerable species and face various threats, such as habitat loss and hunting for medicinal purposes. This monster can frighten anyone suffering from entomophobia, as its wingspan reaches a whopping 10 inches. Allow me to introduce you to the giant, long-legged katydid, but that's not all that makes it truly terrifying. This katydid can produce loud sounds resembling bursts of automatic gunfire. Can you imagine the impact of such a sound? However, don't assume that the size of this creature is related to its terrifying appearance. In reality, giant, long-legged katydids lead exclusively nocturnal lives. Under the moonlight, they venture out in search of food and mates. These extraordinary creatures primarily inhabit the mountains of Malaysia, but encounters with them are extremely rare. Katydids usually consume plant matter, but they won't hesitate to feast on other insects as well. So the next time you hear a strange sound at night, don't rush away. It could be a giant katydid simply searching for its mate or dinner. All right, folks, what do you see in this picture? Would you believe me if I told you it's a frog? The Malaysian leaf frog inhabits the tropical forests of Asia and stands out from other frogs with its ability to camouflage. It closely resembles foliage, allowing it to successfully hide from predators and hunt for prey without drawing attention to itself. The frog has adapted exceptionally well to its environment, making it challenging to spot during the day. It dwells in humid forests, and at night you can notice it by its brightly shining eyes under the light of a flashlight. However, even spotting it at night is not that easy. The Malaysian leaf frog holds value for many amphibian enthusiasts, but they are caught and used for the pet trade. Therefore, it is crucial to treat this unique species with care and avoid causing harm. Let's continue exploring the underwater world. Meet the barrel sponge. These incredible creatures can reach sizes of up to 2 meters in diameter and weigh over 200 kilograms. The main characteristic of the barrel sponge is its shape, resembling a musical instrument, a harp. Its body consists of numerous small openings that resemble strings and allow it to float in the water. Additionally, the barrel sponge serves as a home for various marine organisms such as mollusks, shrimps, and fish. But how unique and mysterious is the barrel sponge? It possesses some extraordinary properties that scientists have yet to fully explain. For example, it can cleanse water from toxins and pollutants, as well as remove dangerous bacteria and viruses from the water. Furthermore, the sponge has properties that may even assist in the fight against cancer, such as breast, prostate, and colon cancer. This creature was found on Coulomb Beach in Australia. At first glance, it appears to be an ordinary piece of plastic, but it turned out to be alive. A 47-year-old man discovered it during a family walk. He thought it was just a piece of plastic until he noticed it had legs and could move. The video quickly went viral, and viewers began speculating about what this creature was and what consequences touching it might have. However, don't worry, apparently, it is not harmful to humans. On the contrary, it represents a significant find for science. Although the exact species name is still unknown, one might consider it something crustacean-like. It is crystal clear and has an unusual shape resembling a moth. A woman discovered the next creature in her garden in Santa Fe. At first glance, it resembles a snake about 10 centimeters long, but its second head instead of a tail suggests something more. What kind of mutant is this, surviving in the city? Most commentators mistook it for a mutant snake, but specialists immediately dispelled this misconception. The mutant turned out to be a grapevine moth caterpillar capable of mimicking a snake, that is, pretending to be something else to protect itself from predators. In this case, grapevine moth caterpillars can behave like snakes, 
imitating snake movements and appearance. Such behavior deters predators that are not willing to risk their lives attacking a real snake and prefer to search for prey elsewhere. Diving into the ocean near Madagascar, a diver discovered something mysterious that prompted him to get closer. Transparent creatures like invisible threads intertwined with each other, forming an astonishing shape, the letter G. At first, he thought they were plastic bottles stuck together, but it turned out to be an entirely different object. Jellyfish that emerged from the depths seemed to surpass all his expectations and fantasies. He felt like a witness to something beautiful and amazing. The gentle movement of the water and the smooth lines of the form created an illusion as if time had slowed down. In those moments, he immersed himself in deep reflections on the beauty of nature and its mysteries, pondering how much remains unsolved and unknown. Encountering such rare jellyfish on video was a stroke of luck, and he was grateful for this unforgettable moment. These encounters remind us that the world is full of puzzles and wonders waiting to be uncovered. Here is our today's episode about the most unusual creatures on our planet. If you enjoyed the episode and would like to see the next part, don't forget to rate the video with a like or dislike, leave a few comments, and subscribe to the Top Facts channel. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in our next episode.